officially called outside the historic Rose Hill Gymnasium on the Rose Hill campus of Fordham University. But things heating up inside for Atlantic 10 women's basketball. Today it's Fordham and Samantha Clark hosting LaSalle. The Rams have just five games left in the regular season. And they're trying to make a move in a muddled middle of the pack in the eighth. Time it's at the elbow. Padovano now. As she works right with eight to shoot. Wide open three burns. Off the bank and in. That's the A-10 player of the week, Danielle Burns, canning a three. Thanks to this offense, but she has certainly grown into the role. And she has good players around her, which helps out so much between Clark, Burns, and Mystery, who can shoot like this. Like that, a three for Hannah Mystery. Now four away from the all-time record and a six-point Fordham lead. Started. No Jamaris Davis today for the Rams. Danielle Padovano started in her place. She's headed to the bench. Danielle Burns with a contested two. Knocks it down. And that's Clark behind her to hold it. Going a lot of perimeter work here. Whip pass into Clark. That's a long two. And it's good. With eight to shoot. A long two from Aaliyah Jones. That misses the front iron. But the Rams get it back. Now a fresh shot clock. Feed inside to an open Clark. Right block. Spins right and gets it to go. Now Jones into the left block. Ran into trouble. Found Burns instead with two to shoot. She's got to get it up. Does. And hits. Alston out to Burns. Into the corner, Padovano tries a three. Gets it! Danielle Padovano. Now with looking around the Padovano screen with eight to shoot. Center of the lane for Clark, works right on Mincer. Gets it in the foul! 12 for Samantha Clark. Pace is slow to bit. Took about three minutes for either team to score. Then we saw a bunch of points. Now some more points from Danielle Burns. Good. 15 to shoot for the sophomore. Gets a Padovano screen. Hands off for Misery. Tries a contested three and buries it. Her second of the game at a five point Fordham lead. The ball hit her hand, but it turns out well for the Rams. We can't take catching for granted as we saw in the first and second quarter. Ooh. A couple of easy drop passes. Burns a long three. Knocks it down. Back to back threes for the Rams. A very angry Jeff Williams calls timeout on the LaSalle sideline. Just like that, Fordham leads by 8, 41-33. Body to give herself room to put up an uncontested shot. Tamina got a screen, thought about a look, didn't take it. Padovano will, and bury it. Three consecutive three-pointers from the Fordham offense. It's Danielle Padovano joining the party. That's cancer awareness. Asante Fomina works inside, throws it up. Samantha Clark was there. Now she spins with four to shoot, won't get it to go. Danielle Burns got there and gets it to go. Hustle on the glass from Fordham. And inside of five minutes to play. Yeah, up 10, no reason to take a quick shot if you don't need to. Clark turns around her defender and gets the easy. She gets it back from Padovano. They play a one-two. And Padovano misses off the back iron. It's loose though. Fomina's there and gets the bank to go. Players the deck at the same time. Now Holden. Shadowed by Miller. Inside of a minute to go. She shakes her defender. Crowd loves it. Doesn't take the open shot. Instead finds Clark. Back out to Padovano. Good for just inside the free point line. Stephanie Gately loves that possession. Offense. And Fordham controlled LaSalle in the second half. There's the horn. 54-44. The final in favor of Fordham. The Rams get back into the win column. They've won four of their last five. As they improve to 12-13. 7-5 in the Atlantic 10.